The Constitution sets forth a system of checks and balances which grants each branch of government tools to ensure that no one branch of government attains too much power. The legislative branch's tools include the power to write the laws, the power of the purse, the impeachment power, and the power to censure, among others. These tools empower Congress to exert oversight over the executive and judicial branches, including rooting out corruption, fraud, and abuse by government officials and taking further disciplinary action on behalf of the American people when warranted. The duty to serve as a check on the other branches, including against corruption and abuse, is a solemn one, and Congress does not take uh, and must not take this responsibility lightly. That is why this committee has scheduled this hearing today. In 2013, the American people first learned that their own government had been, singled out, had been singling out conservative groups for heightened review by the Internal Revenue Service as they applied for tax-exempt status. This IRS targeting scandal was nothing short of shocking. It was a political plan to silence the voices of groups representing millions of Americans, Conservative groups across the nation were impacted by this targeting, resulting in lengthy paperwork requirements, overly burdensome information requests, and long, unwarranted delays in their applications. In the wake of this scandal, then-IRS official Lois Lerner stepped down from her position, but questions remain about the scope of the abuses by the IRS. The allegations of misconduct against Koskinen are serious and include the following. On his watch, volumes of information crucial, crucial to the investigation into the IRS targeting scandal were destroyed. Before the tapes were destroyed, congressional demands, including subpoenas for information about the IRS targeting scandal, went unanswered. Koskinen provided misleading testimony before the House Oversight and Government Reform Committee concerning the IRS's efforts to provide information to Congress. These are very serious allegations of misconduct, and this committee has taken these allegations seriously. Over the past several months, this committee has meticulously poured through thousands of pages of information produced by the investigation into this matter. On May 24, this committee held a hearing at which the Oversight and Government Reform Committee formally presented its findings and evidence to the members of this committee. And today, this committee holds a second hearing to allow outside experts to assess and comment on the evidence presented to the committee at its May 24, 2016 hearing and the many options for a congressional response. I look forward to hearing from all of our witnesses today.